सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू वन इंटरेस्टिंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सीनारियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चन विच इज बिंग फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड इन द पावर बे इंटरव्यू सो यू शुड डेफिनेटली नो अबाउट इट एंड इट्स प्रॉपर सोल्यूशन ओके सो लेट्स प्रोसीड विद द क्वेश्चन एंड बिफोर दैट इफ यूर वॉचिंग द वीडियो फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन दिस चैनल दैन डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू स्टे अपडेटेड विद ऑल द कमिंग वीडियोज ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन the interviewer asked or said that the scenario is like this that you have different countries for example you can assume france germany india mexico nigeria south africa sri lanka and we have their different sales on y axis okay so this is a normal line chart representing countries on x axis and sales on y axis okay so the ask from the interviewer was how can you create a measure or how can you write a measure for me where you can represent or show me the highest value or the maximum value and the lowest value okay so how will you represent these two points on a line chart okay so how will you write a measure for this okay so that if the end user sees this line chart he, he or she can directly see that this is my maximum sale from germany and this is my minimum sale from south africa and, and with the exact sales also so how will you do that okay so for this uh, like uh, i have already created a measure for both for the maximum and the minimum but i will start from the scratch so i will what i will do i will just uh, duplicate this page okay and we'll start from the scratch okay so i will just remove the measures over here okay so that we have normal sales okay by country okay so we have total sales by country now we have to show the total sales which is the maximum and which is the minimum so let us start first with the maximum how we can show the maximum point okay so what i will do i will create a measure i will name it as max underscore point or max value okay let us create few spaces here and we'll make use of variables here okay so uh, first variable will be our maximum uh, data point okay you can name it any so i am naming naming it as maximum Uh, max data point so since you have to take out the maximum value so what you will what what comes first in your mind which function comes first in your mind either max or max x right so if you will go ahead with max it will not work here why it will not work here i will tell you later on so i will make use of max x here okay so i will make use of max x function here okay so this is a max x function then max x function takes first argument as table so my table is table 3 okay so my table is table 3 so i will pick that and my expression is the total sales okay so i will pick that total sales so this is this is uh, this is completed okay now this argument first this is not complete yet so why i, I was not using max now you will get to know since i can control the filter context of this table using all function here so if i will use all function here this is all function and keep in, keep it inside this bracket okay so now i am able to control the filter context of this table 3 function if i would have used max function you would not have achieved the same okay so that's why i have made use of max x function and this max x function will give me the maximum sales among all the countries okay so now let us proceed with the next variable so in the next variable i will check what i will check the maximum point is it the maximum So I will name it as check max. I will make use of if function here. So if my first variable that is max uh, data point is equal to the total sales. So what is my total sales? This is my total sales. If my maximum data point is equal to total sales, then give me max data point. Okay, okay. And in the else condition, give me blank. Why? Because we we only want to see the maximum point, not the other values right so we'll make use of blank here close the bracket so if max data point is equal to total sales now how will this total sales will react so this maximum data point is giving me the maximum sales and this total sales will give me the individual sales how it will give me the individual sales when i will pull country as the filter context for total sales so individually it will compare and if the maximum value is equal to it it will give me the maximum data point okay now let us return this return this 
check max and see if our result is correct or not so our measure is correct i hope it is correct now let us see let us pull this measure on our line chart and see if it works so this is my maximum value so i will bring it here so as you can see here the total sales the maximum sales value is 1600 and that is what we are able to see it on this visual on this line chart so i hope this is clear to you now how you can show the maximum data point now suppose if you have to show the minimum data point then how will you do that so one change you have to do so what i will do i will copy this measure okay i will copy this measure and create a new measure i will paste that measure complete measure now i have to replace this with the minimum minimum value right because we are finding the minimum value here so i have, i also have to replace this okay so maximum data point will be minimum data point so what i will do i will select this and control shift l so wherever it is max it will be replaced with min okay so i have done the same now see everywhere wherever it was max it has been changed to min so how we can do that with the help of control shift l at the same time you can ch change multiple names directly okay so i have used the same okay so now i can just rename it rename it proper so that minimum minx function you can see here okay so this is the, this is the minx function so now everything was same we have just renamed the uh, values here and, and have used minx function instead of maxx function okay now let us see the same result through this measure so i will so i will pull uh, this minimum value also here and let us see what is the result see we are able to see the minimum value that was 150 and similarly the 1600 that we have already seen so in this way you can answer the question to the interviewer i hope it is clear to you so if you like the explanation then do hit the like button okay so that's it for this video please share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this okay and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you